touch the ball, it's over, call it close, but we all know what this is gonna be. You came and failed the test, you met the best, expected chess, but got monopoly. I came and bought you out, I knocked you out, I cropped you out with no apologies. I am the hope, the heart, the faith, the spark, the one who will fulfill the prophecy. I just been counting, never lounging, climbing up mountains, bouncing back. Step in the ring, about to step back. Damn, learn hot when I get on the track. I like it louder the most, watching all these shit just by down to the go. If I can't decide, I'ma probably get both. That, that last piece makes me laugh because I, I know for a fact we had to do a real quick tech run and I don't know if Logan actually remembers the story that I want to tell, but uh, it's going to be interesting, man. I, I'm very excited tonight. Uh, it's the first artist that we've technically had on the show, but also a very good friend of mine and someone that's clearly doing me a favor here. Uh, my name is Eric Zachary, Beyond the Front Row. If you don't know what it is, man, it is a, think of it as a video podcast, if you will, with like little cool production sprinkles all over it, trying to make me feel like I'm actually, like I learned, like I went to a college for a reason, because this is what I studied in college. Um, it's uh, it's all about music, man. It's it's uh, the headlines, how things work. And of course, uh, you know, just taking you a little step further of, of you know, you could see the industry uh, a little clearer than what, you know, some people let you see or want you to see or think that people are interested in. I find more than often than not, a lot of people think fans don't want to uh to know more than what's on stage and a lot of times they do and that doesn't just mean someone's personal life that means like i want to know how a record was laid down kind of thing so with that said uh why keep stalling we've got we got people watching all over we got over 60 people watching in real time that's pretty awesome i'm just gonna bring him in right away good friend of mine mr logan henderson what's up dude what's going on man hey how you? okay you you how is it possible that even like when we're not together in the same room, you still manage to outshine me? You got like the better background, and I don't think so, man. I, you know, I'm in a good little little studio space right here, and uh, I'm just I'm having a good time. Still, kind of just keep my spirits up during this quarantine time and, and keep it safe. And yeah, I'll do a favor for you anytime. Uh, I, I'm glad that you actually opened on that. You know, obviously uh, we want to have fun. We want to have a cool conversation. Uh, cheers, by the way. Um, cheers. Mm -hmm. But, what are you uh, drinking? I'm drinking a nice Merlot. Okay, I like that. I like, to, very, I like very to trick classy. people into thinking that I'm a fancy. Moscow Mule. So. Oh, a Moscow Mule, nice. Not, you, did you make it yourself or was it pre-made? Be honest. No, I made I made it myself. Got to. Uh, okay. I'm very specific with my ginger. Like the ginger has to be very spicy. It has to be a very like deep ginger, and that's what yeah. I have in here. See, I I agree with you, but if it was left to me and my own devices, I would take like a ginger fruit candy, like a gummy, and put and it in there. Like, it works. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> It's like a Soho house, basically. Totally. Um, but yeah, I want to touch on, you know, obviously there, there was quite a few things that caused you and a, a few of your friends to go viral this week. But before we get to that, the reason for it was a, a video where you were just telling fans and friends and family members alike, you know, do your best to stay healthy, both physically, mentally, stay sane, stay safe. Uh, what are you doing to kind of get you through everything right now? It may, it's it's a little hard for me. I I love kind of moving around, and I'm somebody who even at dinner time, if it takes if it's a really long dinner, I get very antsy, and so I usually have to like excuse myself, go out and and go do something because I'm it's I do I can't really sit still very well. But um, you know, I'm working out still. Uh, for the first few days, I was like, let me just eat whatever I want. So it's like you know, pasta for every meal. Uh, and I just was like, you know what, I, I really need to I, keep myself healthy. It's important for me to work out. It's always been something that's kind of held me down, especially being on tour. Yeah. You have to keep yourself physically fit. So um, doing my workouts with my trainer who's actually done online classes for free. Oh, awesome. um, and he's such a saint for doing that because I know it's not easy, but he does two classes a day every day for free. And it's online. So I do those. And um, I've been actually writing more music now than I was whenever I was in L.A. doing sessions. So I'm, I'm doing a lot of music still and, um, and uh, taking up a few hobbies and other things that I don't normally do, which is kind of work on piano, work on guitar, and, um, yeah, watch all my favorite shows. Yeah. What are those shows right now? we got to know. What are you binging? Well, I, I finished Mindhunter. So that's that. That's I know I'm a little late to the game, but I finished my hunt. I love that. <laughs> a little, it's fine. A little late, I know, but I just there's this really cool show called Friends. Um, yeah, yeah. Have you ever I'm heard of it? Catching up on a few of those too. No, but my hunter. I, I just met one of the actors and one of the lead actors in it named Holt, and he was such a nice guy. And I had never really heard of Mine Hunter, so he told me about it, and I watched it. And I'm, obviously, the guy is amazing, and right. I, I fell up with the show. So yeah. that one's great. And then um, I'm doing some old classics. I'm going through all the Star Wars again. Because my girlfriend had not seen, she's from the UK, and I, I'm pretty sure they have Star Wars everywhere in the galaxy, but she didn't, she didn't have that. So we're the going galaxy back and beyond, watching all the Star Wars. honestly. 
Yeah. Um, so, so how, okay, that just seems like such a daunting undertaking. I think this is a really good reason of why we get along in social settings is you and I both have very like, we don't like to stay place, same bar at the same time. We don't like to stay at the same party. Like you've got to move totally. around, you got to have a lot going on. So to have the undertaking of not only doing quarantine and getting through that, but sitting down and watching what is i don't even know i'm gonna get get blown up here but is seven star wars eight nine eleven four is it is it three for each so three in the right so three's nine of them, right you're asking them Dude, i think it's it, it was like until, until last ones, year that i was like the episode one generation and then okay. three of the original saga so i think our trilogy so i think it's nine we'll find out we're still watching we're still going through we were the wrong guys to like my best friend by the way is like the biggest fan and would be freaking out right now yeah i'm such a nerd but details like that i don't know i'm a tech nerd though like i am equally nerdy about things so i can appreciate it it's just like for me it's camera lenses audio production that kind of thing you know yeah um speaking of audio production you know we got on the phone we have to catch up just a little bit earlier this week when you're so gracious to to actually agree to do this um and i i want people to know i did not blackmail logan henderson (laughs) I could have. I did not. Um, but no, 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 no. We were, we were catching up just a little bit, and you were, you were saying that I don't know how much you can say. You were diving in and out of sessions, and you're getting some music done, some writing done. So how soon until we, we get a chance to hear that or, or see what that is? I just got an okay from one of the tracks that I have with uh, an awesome feature that's that's um, just a little bit different. It's a little bit darker. I wrote the song not too long ago, but um, I really love the song, and I played it on tour, so people were able to hear it, and they've been asking me for it, so I can finally give that to them. And then I have another few songs that I just want to release now that we're kind of in quarantine and everybody's staying in one place. Like this is the perfect time to listen to new music, find out new artists, and I'm doing the same. So I want to give as much music as possible. And um, I'm, I'm diving into something a little bit different musically um, than I have been in the past. And it's I've, I like to write music that follows my life. And right now it's just you know even though it's a tough time for us, I'm really feeling. Um, positive about everything and knowing that things will get back to a great place and, and so i want the music to kind of cheer people up and, and be kind of an anthem for getting well and getting better again that's awesome i yeah. for a second i thought you were just gonna stop with uh, i'm trying something different and i was about to light you i'm like oh cool you're gonna do like country symphony orchestra like awesome like dude, i've been listening to country all day today so I, dude I it hits different though it hits different though in I'm these in Texas, situations I have to. it's inherent yeah 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 uh you're in vegas right now yeah yeah vegas yeah, very cool. How, what's the weather like? I mean, this might be, I hate myself for this conversation already, but I'm curious. Yeah, so I've been spending most of my time in Vegas. Um, I'm actually in LA right now. Oh, but, okay, you, you just left. All right, got it, yeah. Yeah, I just actually got here today. So right before this, I, I just unpacked the truck and everything. So oh my uh, I was in Vegas. Vegas is amazing. It was really hot, it was like 90 degrees. So it was perfect weather. And I live really far away from the strip and um, it's beautiful hiking. And so it's good for me to kind of have my own space and, and be creative and do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're back in L.A. Awesome. I'm back in L.A. You got to be very, very careful. Extra careful. Right. Um, listen, we have a lot of things to talk about, but I think I'm going to get blown up in this chat if we don't at least address it. I know you can hold your own, so you're going to you're going to dodge as necessary. Hey, but on, there was on. a there was a video that went up this week that caused not just rushers to lose their mind, but it trended across the Internet world wide so let's just uh, let's take a little click little clip right here what's up everybody it has been a minute it's been a hot minute since we've all been together but <laughs> we wanted to come together and uh, sorry, sorry, but... sorry. truthfully how long was it best estimate since all four of you were on a video chat of any kind it's been a long time it's been yeah. a long time i mean th- th- I've, there's been periods of time where i haven't even seen you know carlos for instance he's had two kids i still haven't even met them yet because he, you know, he lives in Hawaii, so it's, it makes it very hard to all keep in touch and keep in contact. Everybody gets very busy, and so that was really, it was such a beautiful chat to really say hello, see how everybody was doing, and, and get in, in touch once again. I mean, this is the perfect time to do that with people that you haven't talked to in a while. Check up on them, and um, yeah, I mean, I, those guys are brothers for life. That, that's awesome. I mean, and that, that's something that I think um, is kind of happening, you know, not just if you happen to be in Big Time Rush or not, but a lot of people are reconnecting with people that you traditionally wouldn't keep up with on a day-to-day basis, not necessarily because you don't want to, but you know, life hits different. You have a lot going on. It's, it's kind of tunnel vision sometimes. And yeah. I guess a silver lining of all of this pandemic that's going on is it's causing a lot of people to, to appreciate the connections they have and, and reconnect in some chances and instances too. You um, could be right, more, more right on point, man. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah. We'll, we'll come back to the video. I'm not letting you off that quick, but uh, <laughs> speaking of, 
besides the obvious, have you gotten the chance to, to kind of catch up with some other people you haven't talked to in a while or, or collab potentially? <laughs> Um, there's, I've done a few collaborations, you know, there's still, um, still people that I haven't talked to during this time, which I need to, um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think, you know, I've kept, I've kept, um, pretty pri private so far because I've been on a good, uh, a good kind of roll with the, with the music and, and mm -hmm. making that. So, um, I don't know. I mean, you know, you, I, you, this is part of the inspiration right here is, is catching up with you and, and doing this. And yeah, I've got a few more people to check off the list before I'm done. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it was, it was kind of well timed too. You know, we didn't. I didn't hit Logan up just because of the show or, or this. It's actually a different text conversation that we don't need to. It was needed. Yeah. <laughs> that was last week. Um, but yeah, I, it's, it's wild, man, because you kind of do go in and out of waves. I'm not saying you specifically, but just our industry. You know, when you're doing your promo runs or, or you're doing your concert runs or even just catching up with friends that are also performing and doing their thing. I mean, I'm not a, an artist, but we're in the same world where, you know, I've seen you around radio stations and TVs and shows and whatnot. And That's then you kind of, it, get, it gets thrown at you. And then because it comes so fast and there's so much gets packed in and there's so much travel, you know, it's really easy to kind of hide from the world for a second. Absolutely. Uh, for your own mental sanity. Because I mean, there was, it wasn't last summer. It might've been last winter that I think we, you and I were seeing each other like every other week in a different city. Those radio runs were crazy. So it's like, yeah, it was great. Cause it was like, oh, come over here. And then I'd go hang out at MTV. You're there, like New York, you know, you pal around and see everybody depending on, you know, the, the bar crawl that you do later that evening. So it, yeah, it's dude, it was, it was great. But now, yeah, it's, the isolation is very weird. And I can, I can very much get sucked into it. You know, social distancing was one, uh, a word that I just was like, I can't practice this anymore. Do it like self celebrating instead of like, self-distancing because I, I really did kind of, you know, mentally distance myself from people. So yeah, it's important to, to, to be with people. What's the, uh, I don't want to use the word lame as derogatory by any means, but like I've gotten really into searching for puzzles on Amazon. I haven't bought any. No, <laughs> I, I probably won't, but what's like the most like cliche, I'm an old man alone, Thing that you've gotten sucked into during quarantine i mean puzzles is one of them but i is know, it really my, my yeah my family loves puzzles and so i don't ever do puzzles it's just not my thing but i did do a couple of puzzles with my girlfriend and my family uh and we actually did a pretty decent job but we have a, we have a couple dogs and we noticed that like as you get towards the end you're like okay where's the last piece that's like the biggest thing and it's like you know a chewed up piece from my little you know wiener dog that was like oh this looks great and so putting it up at last you know really kind of that's the kind of thing that like completely breaks my spirit and it crushes me as a human being so I, I just was like I give it the puzzle game um, I'm trying to think what else I cook a lot so I'm doing a lot of cooking I don't know if that's old or not but if it is then I'll, I'll gladly be an old man but I'm, I'm cooking a lot of um, food yeah I don't know if that's that's old but I, I also I, I think it's just something that you have to you're either beyond into so you make it part of your daily routine or you know we're we love doing it but again we move around a lot so yeah. being forced to be in the same place you know I, i've been cooking a ton more and i've been very fortunate i got into quarantine with my family um, right. as, as you did as well um what's your signature dish what what is the logan henderson special anything on the grill I'm, i do a lot more vegetarian because i have friends and stuff that are vegetarian so i've, I've learned to kind of expand and, and do better with those kind of dishes but you know what if like i'm from texas so like ribs barbecue smoked steak and chicken oh, it's like you got it like anything you want even if you're a pescatarian like fish i got it i got it down you're all over yeah for sure uh, let's bring it back real fast then because yeah, these comments man they're wild by the way people are very happy that you're here so I wanna, that's good man I'm happy to be here I, I want to see these comments maybe maybe it's better I don't see them and you just throw them at me. <laughs> they're all positive I swear I mean you could pull up YouTube separately but uh, we'll leave the video up I'll send you the link so you can see yeah, it um, everyone's saying hi my mom my mom's in here she just said hi oh I love your mom tell her I said yeah. hello <laughs> my mom and Logan's mom had like a wild connection. I think it was at your show. At, was it the Gramercy? One I think it's because they're so sweet. Like they're such yeah. sweet moms. They're 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 sweet stage moms. And, and honest, also, moms. you know what? Like, it, you, it can't deny it. You and me are mama's boys. Like that's just the way it is. It is it's true. Mama's it boys all day. Um, <laughs> let's get back to it for a second, and then yeah. I'll, I'll I'll stop touching on it. But this is the part of the video. Okay, so you know it's awesome seeing you guys together. And it was, it was even more incredible, you know, that it was for a good cause and you guys were just preaching, um, you know, really positive mentalities and advice. But this is the part that's kind of got everyone thinking. And uh, who knows, a lot to look forward to at the end of this. See you guys soon. Oh, yeah. 
right. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. There's a lot to look forward to at the end of this. Mr. I Henderson. There is a lot to look forward to at the end of this, which is being able to leave your house. Um, yeah, I mean, what do you want to know? Uh, is there a potential for an in-person reunion of that of sorts? I'm not even going to say, I'm not going to go off the wall like some of these One Direction rumors or whatnot, but is a lot there of a One potential? Direction rumors. Yeah, yeah, a lot of rumors out there. Yeah, yeah. Is there a, a potential? I'm, I'm wording my, I, I want to maintain our friendship and my professionality. That's not even a word, but I'm professionalism. Right. Ironic. Mm -hmm. um, is there a potential for you guys to meet up in a public setting once all this kind of clears up? I would be okay with it. I, th I think it might be pretty nice. I don't, I don't know at the moment. And, okay. but you know what? I think like now more than ever during this time, it, it, it has at least reminded me that life is really short and th things can change within the blink of an eye, just like that. Right. And, um, I, I think that, you know what, we have a, like a, it's, it's, it's an amazing friendship, uh, amazing brotherhood and, you know what? We've enjoyed talking to each other and catching up recently, and that's that's kind of all I got right now. We take yeah. kind of things a day at a time. So I would love to see those guys again. I will take that answer. That was yeah. that was more than I was expecting. So thank you for that, <laughs> uh, Logan. You know, I know you're busy, man. I know you just got to LA, and you're you're trying to 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 get a lot of things straight right now. So we're just going to go ahead and jump straight to story time. Now this is a story. So uh, we officially first met. I was. It, Dude, it is such a blur. I'm sure it is for you too. Um, because there was, it kind of went from like not, no, I did no idea like who you were other than Logan Henderson to like, oh shit, like I know him very well. Uh, we're talking, we're communicating, we're at a lot of events together. And I, I think I traced it back. It was South by Southwest in Austin. I'm pretty sure that's when we first met officially because it was through Brent, our friend Brent. Yeah. And we were at the uh, the party people show, and then then we linked up after that. I got back from London, but uh, yeah, the, the outdoor spot, yeah, yeah, because um, yeah, the, Max and uh, Ryan were there, and then that's where we linked up and went to some of the parties after that. But then I think what would be fair to pinpoint is like, okay, you know, we're not just industry friends. I consider him a friend. Um, was. Uh, a mutual friend of ours, or actually a mutual friends of ours, uh, Brent and David, had an Airbnb in LA, and I happened to be in LA at the same time, and found out that the Airbnb I was at was very close on Google Maps to to their Airbnb. So, you know, we all went out to dinner, we went back to their place, they kind of had like a, a really nice, I don't want to call it a party, but like there was a great group of people there, some of the guys from Telecast were there, and we were all just catching up, talking music, drinking wine or whatever it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We need we, that. That needs to be a post quarantine setting for sure. Um, but I remember there was a point, and I'll out myself here, that I may have had a few adult beverages, and I was raving about my aunt, uh, my godmother, um, who lives in LA. She owns a restaurant, and she has an amazing uh, uh, boutique restaurant. And uh, she has this Parmesan bread. And I, I kept saying, like, dude, you got to try it. And you were very agreeable. I'm like, dude, I'll try it. Let's go get it. And I'm like, hell yeah. So I look up on Google Maps, like, just how far this, my Airbnb that I was staying at is from the place that we're at. And on Google Maps, it says, like, 0.18 miles, which I'm living in New York. You travel a lot. We're both like, we could walk that. That's nothing. And, uh... oh, Logan's gone. Oh, yes, thank you. Sorry, oh. my mom. My mom just popped into the no, studio like, here, here we to tell me I was missing a cue. Oh my gosh, thank you. It's okay. He didn't say much. See, um, that's what are moms for? That's what that's what moms are for. I had no uh, idea. I was like, I, it's I, okay. I'm I'm heavy-handed with the telling the stories here. Uh, <laughs> all you're seeing is Logan is agreeing with everything I'm saying. Um, but we saw that this this house was maybe uh, one point one eight ish miles. We're like, we can walk that. Totally easy. Yeah. You didn't look at how many floors, how many stories. We didn't we didn't look at the elevation of the Hollywood Hills because I didn't realize the house that we were at was like directly above the house I was at. So yeah, it was only 0.18 I, miles. I wanted to throw up. I wanted to throw up everywhere. It was the worst. It was I'm a best estimate 650 foot elevation like yeah, this, absolutely of this hill that's like this. And I mean, 
we're, we both clearly remember this, so we weren't like far gone or anything, but we had had a couple of beverages and we just came back from sushi. So yes. it was like not the situation you wanted to be in. No, but thanks to you, we burned all that sushi off. I don't know if it was me. Our other friend Drew was with us and I think he was more the one that was Let's like- Let's blame it on him. Let's blame it on him. <laughs> I'll give him the credit because at one point, you and I are walking up that hill like this is this is it. Let's just knock on someone else's I'm door. I'm there for work after dinner and that late. I was just like, nah, not today. But we and did it. it. We got through it. We're still alive. Yeah, it, it wasn't early. Like we already went to a late dinner, and LA is not a late town in general. You know, yeah. most things most things shut down by 10, 11. Absolutely. And this had to be best estimate, twelve thirty or one. Yeah. That we're yeah. just trying to hike up this hill. <laughs> I'm glad Woo! you remember that. That's great. Yeah. That counts as a workout. Remembering this though, right? Absolutely, yeah, I'm done day. with today. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm moving on to my second drink now, so we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, dude, I appreciate you. I really do. I do, have, uh, I do have one question, because I know you're super, super plugged in to, like, everything that's going on music-wise, and, you know, even if you're not fully posting on your own social, I know you're all over the place keeping track of everything else. <laughs> what's uh, What's been your favorite uh quarantine concert for lack of a better phrase like things that you've seen people come together collabs or it's happened like the global citizens fest what have you watched yeah a lot of a lot of little collaborations um yeah i've had some close friends um do some stuff i know people have released their music um today what was i looking at cautious clay released something um and i'm a huge fan of cautious clay always has some good stuff um you know i saw this this is kind of like it's online but it was also you know television but the disney the disney like recap where they had everybody come in and do the disney songs i watched it with my my little sister and so that was a lot of fun and then uh, I don't know, man, I'm, I'm trying to watch as many concerts as possible you know travis scott had his thing uh on, online last last night yeah. or a couple nights ago wherever it was um so that was cool it was nice to see that that him and, and Cody have some some new stuff coming out i'm a huge fan of those guys so yeah i don't know i'm trying to get my hand uh get my, my hands on as much music as possible yeah, the uh, the Disney sing along though. I gotta know what was the song that you were singing along to, the most, the loudest. That's tough. Who was like? What was one of the best ones? You know what? I think uh, it was the ones from Beauty and the Beast. Sort of the two guys, uh, Gaston and I'm forgetting oh. the name right now. I want to say Smee, but I know that's uh, Little that's, Mermaid. That's that's Peter Pan, right? Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah. Does it, yeah, we're dude. We're the, I'm again. This is Star Wars all over again. The guys who played Gaston, and then the one who played his his little his little buddy. Like they're actually very talented uh, yeah. theater guys, and so I really enjoyed the hearing them sing and being like, "Oh, this isn't just for the movies." Like these guys have real voices, so that was that was really cool. All right, um, real fast before I let you go, I I would get blown up if I didn't get some of these. Questions. Hit me up with these Can questions, you? man. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can uh, Logan do any more Instagram lives anytime soon? I'll do some Instagram lives, absolutely. Yeah, I, th I think I should have been slacking a little bit, but I'll, I'll definitely, it's time to go live. Awesome, awesome. Uh, ask him his favorite song that he released and why is it Bite My Tongue? <laughs> the favorite song I released and then why, why what? Why Why is it Bite My Tongue? Oh, I, I, you know, Bite My Tongue was, uh, that, that I just that's a really cool song. I did it with some of my best friends and it was one of my first songs back. And I don't know, there's something just something that it's, a, it's just a good feeling about it. There's something very lonely about it and there's something yeah. very like intimate about it. And I love kind of like the back and forth of that. And you one know, of my I favorite always, songs I've released, I think, is Pull Me Deep. It's, it'll always be I, one of my favorites. I was just going to say, man, because that, that's what you performed on TRL when I was hosting. And, yeah, that was a really uh, cool moment for us. You saw me backstage and you, and, you, and you walked me to TRL. And so that was a really special moment. That was, well, that was cool because obviously, you know, it's, it's I, I think you'd probably agree, like most awesome artists that, you know, the song is whatever it means to the person that hears it kind of thing. But, yeah. I, it, you know, to generalize, it's, it's more of a romantic song. But to me, it was talking about New York pulling me deep as a city. You yeah, know, I moved into New York with with nothing, with no friends or anything, and so that was just something I always latched onto. And personally, one of my favorites. Um, people want to know any collabs. We've already touched that. You can scroll back. Or <laughs> there'll be some. Wait. Just wait. There'll be some. You know, he's uh, he's always known to talk to people. Uh, um, <laughs> this is what I want from you. I don't want a word. I just want a, a facial reaction. Okay. Okay. All right. A BTR and one D reunion. If that's not a gif, I don't know what is. And if that's not a better I'm point sure to end. If you give somebody out there, just add it to the list of just weird things. Like, um, people want a, a five sauce collab. Let's 
let's leave it in the ether whether it's Logan Henderson or Big Time Rush, but you know, what do you think of the guys at Five Sauce? Five, five Sauce guys are um, hilarious. I think the last time I saw them was in LA at a lovely The Band album release. Love those guys too. And yeah. so, yeah, super nice guys. And um, that, I think they've joked around about us um, on their Instagram lives a few times, uh, all in good fun. And they're, they're you know, they, they're making some great music right now. Love what they're coming out with, and they're just they're, they're solid dudes. So any any time, man, we, we we would love to even just talk to them. Like I think, uh, uh yeah, they're they're just they're hilarious, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, well, last question. Uh, what's we'll just go goofy. What's your favorite dog breed? Oh. You know what? I will say that I've had more than one dachshund. I just think they're hilarious dogs. Um, they're just comical to look at. They're just they're, they're funny fantastic. dogs. Like they're so sweet, you can't be mad at them. They're, like I love dogs that just make you laugh, and so they're great. And then I love Great Danes. I've, I've fallen in love with. So they're, they're complete opposites of each other. I love like a really a really big dog, and then of course you know you gotta have the little guy around to make you laugh. For sure, for sure. All right, dude. Uh, I can't thank you enough. I really can't. I, I appreciate you. I'm going to cut it short because I, I want to hope that the next time there's a big trending moment of the Henderson variety that that'll be one we'll of the first on. calls. Awesome. Brother, I cannot wait till all this ish is over. You and I can link up. We can cheers in person. Logan, I love you, man. Thank it's you. It's a pleasure, man. You're killing it. Love you. And um, all you guys be good. Great to see you. Appreciate you, dude. So there you go. Logan Henderson. Lots to unpack there. Um, I don't want to fuel any more rumors than uh, than what was said. I don't want him taken out of context. You know how I feel about that. So take it for what it is. Uh, if you just watched the shop for the first time today, guys, I appreciate you. Can't tell you how much it means. We're doing this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Logan's just the beginning. Uh, I have a lot of cool connections. If there's someone specific that you want me to get on the show, realistically, don't be like, Beyonce. Um, that I might be able to pull some, some some strings or, you know, a lot of us are interconnected. I'll see you the best that I can do. Uh, appreciate you guys tweeting, uh, favoriting. There are 73 people watching this, so I expect this video to have at least 73 likes. I'll wait. It's fine. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for the support, whether you're here for Logan, whether you're here for me, whether you're here, hopefully, most importantly, because of the music. I appreciate you, and I will see you on Monday. We can take this outside, outside.